Hi, and welcome back to The Real Estate Scoop. We are launching our new series, Buying and Selling Your Home Like a Pro Without a Realtor. We've been listening to the market and what's been going on across the nation with commission structures being totally dismantled. Buyers and sellers have total control as to what they are willing to pay for realtor services and if they are willing to pay anything at all. With access to anything and everything on the internet, real estate for buyers, sellers, and realtors is a fast moving train of change. We will give you a real estate professional's DIY blueprint for saving thousands when buying and selling. We're going to start with the selling side of real estate and we'll break it down into the different components. In this video, we'll discuss pricing your home. Do you really need market research done by a professional to properly price your home for sale? My answer to that is unequivocally, yes, you do. You can go on various internet sites, but that info is not always 100% accurate. They will oftentimes leave listings in when they are no longer available. You may not know if a listing came back on the market or uh, if contingent offers were accepted and your pricing could ultimately be very skewed, I would recommend calling three realtors in your area and asking them for a market analysis. I would confirm they are not charging you to come in your home for that one service. In 99% of the cases, there should be no fees. Realtors are accustomed to giving a market analysis without a fee. Before they come in, tell them you want active listings in your area, uh, market time, sold listings within a three month period, um, uh, as, as well as pending listings. Be honest and transparent with them. You do not want sold listings from a year ago or even six months ago as the market is extremely volatile and you do need to know current conditions. You also want to know what your competition is. Have them bring a list of active listings for your comparison and carefully review the market time. When the realtor comes in, they know what the goal is and should be given a thorough tour of your home inside and out. If you aren't willing to give them full exposure, it will be difficult to give a proper market. You can also have an appraiser come in to do a market which will not be free and will range anywhere from $400 to $600 depending on your area. I personally would choose a realtor to do the market as they may have more of a pulse on your neighborhood, trends, and what's going on with pricing. Obviously you will save money, but a realtor most likely has a bit of a better grasp on what's really going on in the market for your area. When pricing your home, you should also take into consideration economic indicators that play a large role in the overall real estate market. Remember, interest rates were 3.5% a few years ago and now are double what they had been. Buying power has dramatically decreased. Employment rates are changing and we all know about inflation and what's happened to consumer confidence. All of these factors are affecting buyers and their purchasing power. Don't think buyers care about your needs as a seller. The biggest comment I've heard over the years is, I need this much out of my house because I put this much into it. I understand that, but remember, buyers don't care what you need and what you want. You may or may not get what you put into it, but none of this should come into play when pricing your home properly. Aim for a price that reflects the true market value of your home while allowing room for negotiation. If your home value is $200,000 and you price at $250,000 to simply test the market, you are not doing yourself any favors. Remember, buyers have the same access to info as you do and may simply not even choose to see your home because of the unrealistic price tag you've put on it. Pricing correctly could possibly give you the opportunity for multiple offers, creating a bidding war, which would be a great problem for you. Remember that, uh, that pricing your home too high may destroy your transaction. Even if you did find a buyer that was willing to pay more than your home's true value, it still needs to appraise out. And that is an open door for a deal falling through. 
Pricing your home correctly is crucial for a successful sale. By conducting thorough market research, understanding comparable sales, and setting a competitive price, you can attract more buyers and achieve a quicker sale. Remember, even if you're selling without a realtor involved throughout the entire process, leveraging their expertise for a market analysis can provide valuable guidance. With these tips, you're well on your way to pricing your home like a pro and securing the best possible deal. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for our next video in our series. We will be discussing staging your home, what to fix, what not to fix, and the strategy of selling as is. Please hit the like, share, and subscribe button as it helps our channel grow. And remember, it's always 100% free.